think what has led me most into this area, honestly, was building Lego prosthetic hands as a kid. From middle school all the way really through college, I was interested in developing robotic arms. I was looking for a place that had the facilities, the resources, and they wanted someone who could span engineering and the clinical side of things. Northeastern, with its focus on interdisciplinary research and these joint faculty hires, I love coming to campus. I love the greenery. I love how tight-knit it is. My lab focuses on developing robotic prosthetics and robotic exoskeletons. We're designing several new devices, and another big focus is designing the control laws that govern their behavior. A big focus of what my lab does is take the onboard sensors, so think inertial measurement units like you're ordering your phone, joint angle encoders, force sensors, and use machine learning to map those to some sort of control that would be beneficial for the user. So the broad idea behind the ankle exoskeleton is to provide assistance to people who would need some sort of help, especially at the ankle joint. So you can imagine, maybe due to a neurological injury, they don't have the ability to push off the ground with as much force as they used to. So this device is special because it allows free range of motion and the other degrees of freedom that the ankle has. It isn't just pushing off, it allows you to move your ankle in inversion, eversion as well. The long-term goal would be to have exoskeletons that people can wear no matter what they're doing. They're quick and easy to put on, they're lightweight, they're robust, and they're quiet. So making it as light and powerful as possible, and making it feel very transparent to the user if we turn it off, and then having control algorithms that work no matter what you're doing. Those are our key focuses now. I love my lab, it's a very tight-knit group. You can't just learn, for instance, mechanical engineering or machine learning. You have to also learn how do people move? How do we measure the way people move? So it's very interdisciplinary. I think one of the things that people should do in preparing for grad school, and if they want to study this sort of stuff, is do projects. Build cool stuff, get excited about it, work deeply in it. We're starting to really see solutions in some of these major areas, like how do we control these devices? I'm optimistic that in my lifetime, people will be wearing devices such as these to help them, but it's, it's gonna be a long journey.